So today we are going to look at the effect of power plants on longitudinal stability. Okay, and we'll talk about two uh, different uh, types of engine plants. One is right. So let's look at. Uh, what effects uh, about power plant which is turboprop engine is going to have on the longitudinal stability. For many small aircraft, you will find that uh, the engine is this kind of engine, the turboprop engine is uh, at the nose, right. So, it is in front of the wing. So when the propeller is running it will not only produce a thrust it will also produce a force in the normal direction which is NP and the distance of this plane which is the propeller disc plane from the CG is LP and the thrust line is lying below CG at a distance H okay. So, see here that the uh, propeller is lying in the upwash region of the wing right. So, if this is your remote wind direction What is the effect of a push? It's going to change the angle of attack, right? So you have angle of attack which is increased because of the upwash at the propeller, right? And this is upwash angle epsilon. There are two effects which uh, a running prop propeller can have on longitudinal stability. One is the direct effect the other one is indirect effect okay. Direct effect is because of these forces that is being produced right and indirect effect is right. So, flow is leaving this uh, propeller and is going to affect everything behind it right and that is going to have an effect which is indirect effect on longitudinal stability. 
So look at them uh, one by one. So let's talk about the direct effect first today. So what do we want to find out? We want to find out contribution of the forces to the pitching moment, right? So look at direct effect. First, so M C G right, pitching moment about C J due to the propeller running propeller is T into H right is positive. Plus this NP into LP. Right? You can write this uh, thrust uh, in terms of a non dimensional coefficient, which is thrust coefficient and called CT, CT into rho V squared D square. Okay. So CT is And V is this okay, relative wind speed. Let us also define this NP. So now I can write everything in terms of these coefficients and I will find an expression which is this. Into n this n is the number of blades Finally, I want to find out this quantity, right, and see if it is negative or positive, right.
you think CT will depend upon CL? Yes or no? CL is the lift coefficient of the aircraft, right? And that will depend upon the angle of attack at the fuse arch reference line. and the thrust produced is also going to depend upon this angle because you are seeing the flow at some angle is not it. So this CT is a function of propeller efficiency and the lift coefficient of the aircraft. This k is a function of the power that engine can produce, the density, right? Because this aircraft is going to operate at different altitude, and density is going to change with altitude, and the wing loading. So this k is a function of these three parameters and you can write uh, CT, remember this is only an estimate okay, if you want to find exact values of these quantities then you have to put your aircraft in the wind tunnel and make measurements. So what is DCT over DCL? Everything here is positive, CL has to be positive, eta P is positive, K is positive. So what uh, effect this term is going to have on stability, call this 1 and 2, destabilizing but it will depend upon H. If H is positive, means what? Right. If this thrust line is lying above CG, then it's going to have a stabilizing effect. Right. So for H, Right, so you can choose your edge for getting more or less stability. Right. It turns out that you can also approximate this. Due to thrust, okay. as this, this for a fighter So you clearly understand how is going to shift the how this H over C bar is going to shift the stability curve, isn't it? Let's look at the second term now. Do you think this term is going to change with CL? Do 
the angle of attack that the propeller is saying is this right alpha p and alpha p is alpha plus epsilon right so and this is for the I mean we can approximate it to be that of the wing right because there is not much of lift produced on the tail as I said earlier. So this I can write as the lift curve slope of the wing into 1 over right now each of these derivations are very important now you can miss out something and your equilibrium stability of aircraft will be disturbed right we are trying to find out the moment also to determine correct equilibrium condition right and the stability so dc and p over dcl is And the contribution to the final DCM over DCL to the airplane DCM over DCL is this, right? So you have to multiply this thing by no, this term here. So let's write that. Now there is some uh, information available for let us say different number of blades what is this quantity okay. So there are people who have done a lot of work on this aspect and it is a constant it is a positive constant okay. So for example uh, When, the, when there is no thrust being produced and you are just wind milling you can be running your propeller but that is not producing lift so that is called wind milling and <coughs> for that condition this CN over D, uh, DCN over D alpha is given okay. So there is a person called Ribner and the chart which gives you this is called Ribner's chart. So there are some information available and we can directly use them only for the initial design phase okay when you are trying to determine stability with respect to each of these components. at t equal to 0 okay. So propellers are running but uh, thrust is not being produced so it is wind milling is uh, 
So to start with they will use this value for the initial phase and they will multiply it by a factor to account for the case when thrust is being produced by the running propellers right. So some data is available and this is from So this is for two propellers and they are rotating in the opposite direction okay. All right so now uh, what kind of effect this is going to have so I am saying that this is a positive constant for different number of blades it is also going to be a function of blade height and blade angle yeah, yeah. so what effect this is going to have it depends upon what this LP is right if LP is positive no, that is how I have drawn it here then the effect is destabilizing but if the CG is ahead of the propeller then the LP is going to be negative do you know of any aircraft where this is the case yeah yeah so pusher type of airplane you have any idea of any such airplane Saras, right? Uh, Saras is one such. <coughs> Pusher type airframe. Okay, so where LP is negative. Again, it depends upon where the CG is, right? So this kind of arrangement of power plants on the airplane can change the stability characteristic okay and it can change the stability characteristic to a large extent okay so clearly depends upon what lp over c bar is right so it can have a large effect okay so this is the direct effect indirect effect is so if I want to write the complete you no know, pitching moment about the aircraft CG due to every component then it is uh, something like this.
the contribution coming from the wing right fuselage tail this direct thrust contribution and this is the normal force on the contribution coming from the normal force on the propeller right so in general the flow field behind this yeah okay there is some unbalanced force and p so i cannot tell you what uh, that force may be but this has been observed that this force will be there even when you are uh, windmilling no you are not producing any thrust this is there what is that like if we extend our hand the inertia becomes more and sometimes it stops or if we move even closer not really faster, not really i don't think uh, see uh, look at this flow is coming at some angle so of course the forces in the uh, in the vertical direction is not going to be uh, it's not going to compensate right for the one acting upward and one acting downward so some un unbalanced force right and it is there when you are uh, yeah so i Yeah. This will have an effect on the lift, okay, but not significant, because lying uh, wing is lying behind us. So slip stream is going to have an effect on the lift uh, coming from the wing. So all of these effects are going to be there. but they are not so significant they are very small contributions the major contribution actually comes from this quantity okay so tail the flow field that the tail is seeing is not different because of the propeller slip stream so let's look at uh, that effect okay and that is a major effect okay so this contribution and all of these are small contributions right remember we are talking about the uh, the effect of propeller slip stream on these quantities okay and that is small but uh, this changes significantly this is what we are going to look at uh, under the indirect effects right there is not a direct effect propeller slip stream on wing lift coefficient right
so downwards at the tail is slightly modified because of the propeller slip stream Okay, so I said uh, these two effects are not so significant. So we'll talk about uh, the other two effects, right? So this contribution is now slightly modified, and this quantity which is the ratio of the dynamic pressures right that's that is going to change and is vs over v squared right this is a function of the thrust coefficient so this quantity is of course when ct is zero when there is no thrust produced by the propeller then this is equal to 1 right but if there is thrust being produced then you know that this ct is also going to be a function of cl so let us look at uh, uh, this uh, little more carefully what is CLT CLT is CL alpha tail right into the angle of attack at the tail which is Now this epsilon is from the wing right there will be another angle another contribution to this downwards angle from the propeller slip stream Okay. Now, if I want to take the derivative of this with respect to the CL, right? That is what we are looking at, right? That will tell you about the stability. Now we are doing all kind of maths here, so by now you should have adjusted to finding the uh, expressions. So I'm not going to uh, write it in detail. So this is the total contribution okay, of tail to pitch stability.
propeller indirect effect. So, what do you think this effect is stabilizing or destabilizing? Now, we are talking about two terms. And clearly, this is greater than one when the propeller is running, right? One plus eight CT over pi, right? But if I only want to look at the effect of this downwash angle, what is it? So minus into minus. Plus, so it's going to have a destabilizing effect. If I only want to look at the effect of the uh, downwash because of the propeller, Right. What else do you see there? So there is one effect, and this effect is destabilizing. Right. If you combine these two together, then actually, no, it can make an aircraft unstable. You were expecting a horizontal tail to provide you stability. Right. That is how you added the tail. But this is going to have a. If they come together, then they're going to have a. They can have destabilizing effect also. Right? Depends on the magnitude of these two quantities. All right. What else do you see there? So in general, is this term is one plus eight CT over pi. Right, so this is going to provide stability, isn't it? We are multiplying this quantity by something which is more than one. Though I said that if you put the tail behind the wing, then the tail efficiency factor will go down because it's lying in the wake of the wing. But here you see that because of the propeller slipstream, this quantity has become greater than one. Right, even though the tail is behind the wing, so it's actually adding to stability through this term, right, and <coughs> decreasing stability through this term. All right, what effect this term is going to have? Now this derivative is again. You have to take the derivative of this with respect to CL. So this is going to be positive, right? So K or right? This is what But this is when the propeller is running, and we are getting some thrust, right? If the propeller is not producing any thrust, then this becomes zero, and the derivative, this derivative becomes zero. So there is no contribution coming from this term when there is no thrust being produced by the running propeller. Okay, what other effect you see? So everybody understand what uh, uh, I am saying through this, right? What other effect you are going to see because of this term? Negative 
it depends upon also upon this CLT right if CLT is negative then it is going to have a destabilizing effect. So let us think about a situation when you are trying to move the CG right so you your CG is here and tail is lying somewhere here. So I am moving the CG now right if you move the CG in this direction right what will happen there will be destabilizing effect more destabilizing effect from the wing right because you are moving this CG towards the tail away from the aerodynamic cord of the wing. So this LT is going down right but you want to trim the aircraft if you want to trim the aircraft then you have to produce more lift is not it. So you have to have CLT which is higher if I am moving CG aft towards the tail then this LT is going down now to trim the aircraft you should have CLT which has to be going up do you see that everybody sees that no how do you how do you balance out the moment so if only uh, if you talk about only the wing contribution and the tail contribution then it's uh, LW into this distance right and this is a destabilizing effect we know that right the stabilizing effect is coming because of the lift produced at the tail so that is stability whatever trim when we are moving the CG backward or towards the tail then this arm length is going to increase so more destabilizing effect from the wing right but to trim the aircraft what will you do you have to cancel out this moment right so you have to increase the lift at the tail is that clear because this arm length goes down okay so when I am increasing the uh, uh, this uh, lift at the tail to trim the aircraft then actually I am adding to the stability through this term so it is compensating for the loss of stability which is coming because of the wing right so it is actually adjusting the stability see what happens when you are moving CG forward right towards the wing then wing will have less destabilizing effect and to trim the aircraft you will have to produce lesser lift on the tail and lesser lift at the tail means destabilizing effect no, from the tail so it, it actually compensates for the uh, change in stability when you move the CG backward and forward so effect of this term is that right is 
Does this player any question? So we will see how it is going to have an effect on the neutral point location. No, we have not yet talked about the effect of Hughes laws contribution on the neutral point location and no, this part right. So in the next class we will talk about the, the effect of turbojet engine plant on longitudinal stability okay so we can stop for today